thank you for coming on my channel i really really appreciate it <laughs> I have some questions that I wrote down, so I'm just going to be looking at my phone from time to time. So, um, do you want to introduce yourself? Alright, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm a network guy. Uh, How long have you been in the Army? Two years now. Yeah? No, yeah, about two years. Okay. So, um, so how have you... Okay, let me start from the beginning, right? Um, so, what was your initial reaction to hearing you were getting deployed? Um, I was kind of mad because I didn't hear about it until like two months before like they had it up in the air they were just like hey you might you might leave you might not and I'm just like cool you know I just bought a car and they were just like oh yeah you're leaving like get ready to go I'm like all right when are we going like a year six months I'm like nah I'm like two months right you'll be used to it so I mean yeah and you were in another unit, if I remember, yeah. before they brought you to our unit. To get yeah, that was, I was in a, it was a newer company. And they just completely threw me into another unit at Brigade. I didn't know nobody. You know, I was still stuck in, like, company mode. I didn't know how to work desk jobs or nothing. And they were just like, yeah, go sit at the computer. And I was just like, what does this button do, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so I remember when he got to our unit because I knew him from 258, but we didn't used to talk. Um, yeah, but when he came to our stuff, like he, yeah, he he adjusted really fast, so that's one of, yeah, because like, yeah, you kind of fit in real fast. So, okay, so, um, so you were not ready for the deployment, but you like bounced back to it and you know, sucked I it up. Took stuff. A L, but tonight I bounced back. <laughs> Okay, so my second question is what plans did you make or uh, what plans did you make when you heard that you were getting deployed? Planning. Uh, Alright, so they don't tell you that you have to get rid of all your stuff in your room. You know, you have to clear your room out. You think like, oh yeah, you just come back to my room and think back and more. No, so you're they, staying in the barracks? Yeah, because you're in the barracks. Married, they right? gave you room away. So you have to take all your stuff out of your room. You have to find storage. If you trust like the storage units, go put it in the storage unit. If you don't, have like one of your friends hold it. One of my friends are holding it. Shout out Uggin. <laughs> but um Yeah, uh, that's just about it. Finding ways to, you know, keep your stuff. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way if you don't just wanna spend the money and get a storage unit. Like me, I left all my stuff in Uggin's house, like car, T V, clothing, all that stuff. But there was other alternatives that I wasn't willing to take. So planning wasn't that awful. It was just it was a hassle doing everything last minute. Right. Um, so um, in my video, um, I didn't talk about the army stores your like also good for you if you're single. Um, so what did you do about your insurance? All right. So I'm with Geico. So there's like there's two different you know things you could do. You could cancel your insurance overall, which I wouldn't recommend if you know you're gonna leave your car with somebody because chances are they're still gonna drive it. Or you can just get like a storage plan going on, or like you still pay a X amount of dollars a month, and you still have insurance. It's just like not really insurance. I don't know. So it's not a lot like like what you were paying before. Yeah, it's it's like what. How much were you paying before? How much are you paying now? Before I was playing what, like two fifty, with like a bad driving record, <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm paying like fifty bucks, fifty oh, okay. bucks a month. Well, that's not bad. Like I told you guys, I was paying one thirty, and now I'm paying twenty four. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's one of the things that you need okay, to put well, into. I, I need your insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm using um well, you know what I don't even want to say because they're not paying me for <laughs> Well but I'm using Geico, uh, I'm using you. USA Geico so. <laughs> <laughs> USA <laughs> Okay So what plans did did you not make that you're regretting that you wish you made like in advance? Like if you had more time now that you think about it, what did you think you could have done? Uh, I would have stayed home longer. I came here with like extra leave days, like two weeks worth of leave that I could have used that I didn't use. Um, I was going to ask you that. Uh, my next question was, what did you, where did you go for block leave? So, yeah, I would have, I would have, I, I went home twice. Where? Where's your? To Los home? Angeles, California. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> no, but <laughs> yeah, I went home twice. Like they made me come back for like three days because I had to fill out paperwork and then I went back home because that's, that's what the army does. <laughs> and it was good, but there was a lot of time that I could have used that I didn't use and I came here with two weeks. So that's one thing I definitely would have did that I didn't do. Um, another thing is... <laughs> So, are you flexing? <laughs> no, I wasn't flexing. I wasn't flexing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, what did you pack for the deployment? Like, apart from, like, army stuff, what did you, like, personal stuff, what did you pack? Um, alright. I brung all of my jewelry. <laughs> do you wear them now? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay. I brung all of my jewelry. When you say jewelry, what do you mean? Like, I brought like three chains, <laughs> <laughs> like gold watches, bracelets, like piercings that I probably can't even wear here. I brought a lot. Yeah. So uh, guys, if you have a lot of jewelry, I guess you should bring it. Don't. Um, <laughs> okay. Would uh, you advise that they bring it? Like, are you wearing as much as you thought you would? I know. I'm not. I'm definitely not wearing as much as I thought I would. But it's good. It's fun to look at. You know, every once in a while, you're just like, yeah, I remember when I bought this. My two chains. Yeah. My two three chains. chains. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like one of those moments. Right. Um. My Apple Watch. I can't really consider it jewelry because it's like technology. Mm-hmm. I don't even wear my Apple Watch. No? I can't. Like, inside where Yeah, I can't wear inside where I work. So So if you have an Apple Watch, uh, like a small watch, some small watches are allowed in where you work. So yeah. if you work in the office, you probably won't be able to wear your, your small watches inside. So. Yeah. Now what else did you pack? Um, comfortable shoes. Aside from like normal people shoes, because... You know, it's like the terrain here is messing me up. Um, pack food and like junk food. <laughs> a lot of junk food because it was a long time getting here. And them plane rides, you get hungry, man. Yeah. Blankets. Cause those planes get cold too. Mm -hmm. um, you didn't mention your game. Oh. You remember my game one, I remember my game, yes. Uh, I brought my PlayStation and my and my laptop. Yeah. And there's no internet connection that's good enough to play here, so you end up playing by yourself, which is real depressing. <laughs> but it's fun, it's fun to have. Yeah. Um, I would have brought a TV if I didn't know that I was going to get here and get a 60 inch. No, we're getting to that. <laughs> we're getting to that in a minute. We're getting to that. <laughs> he has a 16 inch TV in his room. We're getting okay. to that. So, we'll just keep going along the line of. Okay, so wait, wait a second. For the junk food, I, in my video, I said don't pack junk food because I'm not a junk food person. And I just. I see. <laughs> <think, laughs> I see you flexing from the corner of my eyes. Like, I swear. <laughs> Anyways, so in my video I said, you know what, you just do whatever you're doing. <laughs> I'm just going to concentrate on what I'm saying. So in my video I said, don't bring junk food because it's going to melt. But he's saying like, you're going to have a carry on, so you want to have junk food in there. But... Well, you know, I mean, don't get junk food shit to you. That's, you're going to mm -hmm. die. Like, it's, it's going to melt. It's going to be all nasty and right. yucky. But like... And you're carrying For on. like... You're going to be on a plane. Well, we were on planes for like, what, 15, 20 hours? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're having stopovers. Yeah, they so. have stops in crazy areas. And you probably don't have, you know, regular junk food that you're used to. If you're like one of those junk food guys, I'm a junk right. food guy. So like, you know, I like having like Snickers and Starburst here and there. You know, just to keep me on my feet. But, you know, two types of people, you know. Yeah. So, apart from... Like when you were packing civilians, what did you pack? Oh, a lot of stuff that I can't wear. Yeah, 
Like what? A lot of stuff I can't wear, like shredded jeans. <laughs> I, I I can't help it, man. A lot of my jeans are like shredded jeans, uh, tank tops. Can't wear tank tops. Like certain graphic tees that people might find disrespectful. Um, uh, you can't really wear open toe sandals like out and about. And so if you're like one of those, you know, five, six pair of Nike slipper type people, I'm sorry. No. So don't even pack it. Like, don't pack like, like short, like vests and stuff. You know? Yeah, like clear. certain shorts. If your shorts are too short, you know, no. they don't want that. If yeah. you're a female, especially. Um, yeah, you can't really show much skin in areas like this because a lot of people might find it, you know, disrespectful or, you know, offensive. Offensive. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so you just want to bring like, like, really decent clothes. Like, yeah, I'm not but, saying you're not but wearing. Stay fresh. Stay fresh. <laughs> stay just, fresh. Just, yeah, brush your shoulder off, stay <laughs> fresh, you know, stay clean, but, you know, keep it, you know, casual. Yeah. There's other stuff that I probably would have wanted to bring that I didn't bring. Mm -hmm. It was probably like things to occupy me that weren't electronic, you know, like little, like, mild, like minor hobby things, like. Uh, if you're a chess player, like bring a chess board. I don't know. Like, a lot of people are probably thinking, like, I wouldn't want to pack this on a regular trip. You know, you're you're not just going on a regular trip. You're going to be living here for X amount of time. So, you know, you have to consider that that time frame and like, okay, what do I want? What might not they have here? So, you know, bring stuff to make you comfortable. Right. Like yo yos, fidget spinners, whatever you guys are doing nowadays. <laughs> with young whippersnappers <laughs> and my next question is so um if you go to your room like my room is really basic but if you go to Fool's room Fool's room is all the way decked up like he has a 16 inch tv he has 16 like 16 or 60 oh my Wait, bad sure you're saying 60 <laughs> my bad 60 inch tv that he didn't bring from wherever it's coming from so and he has like his old floor is like rugged up. He has like tables and mirrors and shit. Please, can you tell us how you got all those things? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm at the I'm at the school, y'all, on the the ways of the specialist deployed. Okay. Scavenger. Okay, scavenger. There are people coming and going throughout your deployment. When they leave, go see what they left. Because just like me, they're going to get a whole bunch of stuff that they're not going to need. And when it's time to go, they're not going to be able to take it. Chances are, they're just going to leave it in their room. Yep. Go. Anyways, Fool, thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank you for giving us your insight on everything. And I hope you'll be able to do this some other time if I have any other thing. And yeah, do you want to say goodbye to Bye. Goodbye. Have a beautiful time. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any suggestions on what you want me to talk about, please let me know. And I'll see you. Bye. Okay.